Hello Taurus, Someone Rising, and Venus, and welcome to another reading. Let's see the overall energy in between you and the person you're connecting with or will be connecting with. Do, 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 do. We have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. And you know what's interesting is that we have reconciliation, but it's in the reverse. Could have sworn. I mean, all my cards should be in the upright. But I don't know. Maybe it's coming out in the reverse for a reason. But then we have made the effort. I don't know if I like this. Because I kind of feel like somebody's resurfacing back into someone's life. But there's no real... Okay, how can I explain this? I kind of feel like there was like a major falling out here, Taurus, between you and another person. Let's go ahead and say this is a person that's resurfacing back into your life so that way I don't get confused. But... Yeah, I kind of feel like there was like a major falling out that took place between you and another individual. And it could have been between like a family member, a friend, possibly even a love interest. But I'm getting like a major falling out. Like I don't feel like it was over something minor. You know what I mean? Um, what's interesting is that yes, this person is resurfacing back into someone's life. But they're acting as if nothing ever happened. Like they're not coming back because they want to resolve things with you. They're not coming back because they want to have a conversation with you and come down to some sort of resolution like i'm not even getting that from this person i don't even know why this person's resurfacing back into someone's life here but let's see let's see i guess what happens uh we're gonna focus on you first taurus and then we're gonna jump over to them still keep in mind you might resonate more so with the person to the right of me than you do with the person to the left of me and that's okay just kind of pick and choose who you resonate more so with for some of you you can be connecting with a scorpio or a Capricorn. Anyways. How does Taurus currently view this relationship? Yeah. In your mind, you feel like this person is resurfacing back into your life to make things right with you. That's what you think. I almost want to say that. That's what you think. That's what you think. Hmm. Let's look at this human. Could be dealing with a Cancer, possibly a Libra. Hmm. How does this person currently view this relationship? We have the Page of Cups. We have the Three of Cups. With the Death card. The bottom of the deck, we do have the Five of Pentacles with the two of wands and the six of wands this is them contemplating whether or not they should gravitate towards you or not but i feel like they're making that decision to do so you will be hearing from this person in particular you will but again it's like it's weird it's, it's weird because yes i see them gravitating towards you but it's not because they want to make things right with you it's not because they want to make amends with you they're just showing up randomly. So let's see what this person wants. Let's see what this person wants. Tell me more about the Page of Cups. Again, it's like this person is aware, right? That shit went south, obviously, between you and them. Hence why the relationship in itself came to an end to begin with. But they're not here to talk about that. They're not here to talk about that. I just want to see what this person's intentions are because I kind of feel like the moment you hear from this person, the first thing that pops up in your mind is, oh, wow, like this person's here because they're going to apologize to me or this person's contacting me because they're trying to apologize to me for everything that they basically put me through. Like, okay, like that's why this person's resurfacing back into my life. I don't think so. I don't think so. Mm -mm. Tell me more about this Three of Cups. Hmm. We have the Ten of Swords with the Nine of Cups. And then we have the Nine of Wands with the Page of Wands. And then we have the Queen of Wands. And then we have the Star. I don't like this dude because this person's resurfacing back into your life and, and it's basically coming from a place of them. How do I say this? How do I say this? 
them needing a distraction. Okay, does that make sense? Like, this person's going through some shit. <laughs> they're going through some shit. And I don't feel like whatever it is that they're going through has absolutely anything to do with you. They're clearly going through some shit, Taurus. They really are. And they just want to escape their reality and whatever it is that they're experiencing. And they kind of feel like you're the perfect person to gravitate towards so they can kind of forget about all their problems or whatever it is that they're experiencing. To me, if I'm being honest, this does kind of feel like a, like a rebound situation. Like this person's gravitating towards you, Taurus, because they clearly lost someone here and they need a, they need a distraction. They need a freaking distraction. They're kind of looking at you like you're the perfect person. You're the perfect person. But like I said, whoever this person is, this is somebody who's clearly crossed you already at some point. And in your mind, you're just like, oh, wow, like they're contacting me because they're trying to make things right with me. They're, they're here because they want to apologize. No, I'm not getting that. I just kind of feel like this person's going through some shit and they need a little bit of a distraction. They're kind of looking at you like you're the perfect person that they should basically gravitate towards. You know, to distract them from their, their little re reality. Let's look at this freaking Ten of Swords. We have the Wheel of Fortune to the Eight of Pentacles. And then we have the King of Swords. Oh, and what do you know? What do you know, man? The Queen of Cups to the Eight of Cups to the Two of Cups. Yeah, this person is this person just recently experienced um a breakup here. Someone left this one behind. Somebody left this one behind and it was a Queen of Cups energy that left uh this King of Swords behind. Yeah. We have a Queen of Cups that's basically walking away from a relationship and if I had to bet my last dollar on it, I'm pretty sure it was with this King of Swords. So now they need a little bit of a distraction. They want to shift their attention and their focus onto something else because I kind of feel like this person, for the most part, is pretty hurt that this Queen of Cups left them, okay? There's three people on the table right now, and I don't want to, like, I don't want to lose anybody here. You're either the Queen of Cups that walked away, or you're the Queen of Wands that they're gravitating towards. Pick and choose, or you're the King of Swords, right? Or you're the King of Swords. Pick and choose who you are in all of this, okay? But... The person who's on the receiving end of this communication from this King of Swords is this Queen of Wands, okay? This person is basically looking at you like you're the perfect distraction for them. And like I said, you and this King of Swords clearly have history because you're looking at this person like, oh, like they're they're resurfacing back into my life because they're going to apologize for everything they put me through. No, they're not. They don't even want to talk about that, to be honest. Like They don't even want to go into depths about like what happened between you and them and how things went south. They honestly could care less about that. They're just gravitating towards you in particular because they need a distraction from what they're currently facing, which is this ending here between them and this Queen of Cups. Okay. So then there's that. All right, now that we got that out the way, because again, I'm not getting somebody who's coming forward and apologizing. No, no, no. I'm not getting that. I feel like the only reason why they're resurfacing back into your life is because they need a distraction. This is somebody who doesn't have any sort of intentions of sticking around or establishing anything meaningful with you or repairing things with you. They just need a distraction. Tell me more about justice. I feel like you're going to be extremely caught off guard when this person does like approach you or, or contact you. Again, in the back of your mind, you think that the reason why this person is contacting you is because of whatever it is that they basically put you through while you were involved with them. Okay, let's keep going. How does Taurus feel? Again, this whole situation is going to leave you freaking confused because when you do hear from this person in particular, in your mind, like I said, you think that they're contacting you because they want to fix things with you and resolve things with you, but they're not even going to give you any sort of indication that that's why they're here. They're not. If anything, this person might ask you like, hey, you want to go hang out? Want to go grab a drink? Want to come to my place? Can I go to your place? Can we hang out? Can we read a book together? You know this person's not trying to read a book with you. You know what I mean, Taurus? Like, 
this whole entire conversation it's gonna leave you freaking confused but i can't get off of that like in your mind when this person resurfaces back into your life you're thinking okay they're coming my way because they want to apologize to me for what they put me through that's why you think that they're contacting you and what sucks the most is that i feel like you've been waiting for an apology from this person that you've clearly haven't even gotten nor do they plan on giving it to you How does this person feel? We have the Empress. We have the Seven of Wands. And then we have the world. Like I said, you're either the Queen of Wands or you're the King of Swords that's resurfacing back into somebody's life randomly. Um, and if, if that is the case, I kind of feel like it's just to have a good old time, nothing more, nothing less. Um, but if you are the Queen of Wands, like I said, this is clearly somebody that you were involved with um, that unfortunately betrayed you and deceived you at some point throughout your involvement with them. If you are the Queen of Cups that removed yourself, if you are, this King of Swords is looking at you like you're an empress, okay? They're not trying to establish a relationship with a Queen of Wands-like energy because they're looking at you like you're an empress. Okay, an empress is all of the queens in one. It doesn't really get any better than an empress. It just doesn't, right? So if you are the queen of cups that basically removed yourself, this person basically refuses to allow anything or anyone to come in between what they still want with you, which is a future if you ask me. So then there's that. <laughs> Let's look at the hangman. Tell me more about the hangman. We have the world to the page of pentacles and then we have the five of swords. I kind of feel like this person's true intentions are going to be revealed so quickly that in a way it is going to leave you extremely upset it is going to leave you extremely pissed off if you are the queen of wands and you're resonating with the queen of wands and you're on the receiving end of this person's fuckery okay if you're the queen of cups obviously i don't feel like you're aware of what's going on with this king of swords and what they're up to um but i feel like they're doing all of this to 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 escape the 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 reality right and the reality being you left them and now they don't know what to do with themselves okay so they're gravitating towards a queen of wands like energy with no intentions of really sticking around um so with that being said pick and choose who you are on all of this hopefully i'm not confusing absolutely anybody but we have a king of swords that's up to no good moral of the story and it's because someone clearly ended things with them and they decided well let me go talk to the queen of wands and go have fun with the queen of wands um because i need a little bit of a distraction i'm kind of hurting right now so i need somebody to cuddle with me you know what i mean whatever so then there's that so then there's that yeah, their intentions are going to be revealed very very quickly what actions will taurus take towards this person and moving forward you, you see right through this person's bullshit. If you're the queen of wands, you see right through this person's bullshit. It's not even funny. And I also kind of feel like your intuition is kind of screaming at you to leave this person alone. Because they don't have any sort of intentions of sticking around. This person is just here to have a good old time with you. Nothing more, nothing less. They need a little bit of a distraction for those of you who are resonating with the queen of wands. Okay? You, you, you see right through this person's bullshit. It's not even funny, dude. It's not even funny. What actions? Now, for those of you who are resonating with the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Cups that left this King of Swords behind, for those of you who are resonating with that particular person, I see this Emperor slash King of Cups coming back around your way trying to repair slash fix things with you like i said if you are resonating with the queen of cups slash empress like energy this is somebody who's going to come right back around your way to try to fix and repair things with you okay um at the bottom of the deck we do have the hierophant 
Okay, yeah. This is them wanting to repair slash fix things with you. So like I said, pick and choose who you are on all of this. If you are resonating with the Queen of Wands slash Queen of Swords, I don't necessarily feel like this person is going to get too far with you because I kind of feel like you're going to start to realize this person's true intentions as to why they're even contacting you in the first place. And you're not going to like it. I'm going to be honest. You're not going to like it. But I don't necessarily see this person getting too far with you because I kind of see you nipping it in the ass pretty quickly. For those of you who are resonating with the Queen of Cups slash Empress-like energy, I do see this person coming back around your way wanting to repair slash fix things with you. If you are, unfortunately, the King of Swords slash Emperor, you up to no good. Um, but yeah, any advice? Any advice? We have... We have give your relationship a chance. We have retreat. And then we also have, yeah. See, this is the king that's up to no good. This king got left behind. And this king is gravitating towards a queen of wands-like energy in hopes that, you know, they can kind of get a little bit distracted, right, with the queen of wands, right? I don't necessarily feel like they're going to be successful in that department because it kind of looks like the queen of wands sees right through this person's bullshit and wants nothing to do with this person, which is going to push this king of swords slash emperor-like energy right back to their empress slash queen of cups in hopes that they can kind of repair slash fix things especially because apparently they're not getting anywhere with the with the queen of wands we got a king of swords that's up to no good and everybody needs to be on high alert okay but other than that and i don't feel like this queen of cups slash empress knows that they're gravitating towards a queen of wands like energy even though nothing's going to transpire and manifest out of that situation they don't know that like they don't know what's really going on and they don't really know what they're up to all i do know is that this empress slash queen of cups doesn't want anything to do with them for right now of course they might take them back i don't know the the decision is entirely up to them but at least if you're resonating with the queen of wands slash queen of swords you know what's up you know what's going on you're not falling for this person's fuckery Okay, so hopefully this reading resonates with you. Hopefully it brings you some clarity in regards to whoever it is that you're connecting with or will be connecting with. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.